Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity 1000 series PLC firmware update. And detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been, provi been provided in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So up on my screen here I have my uh, program and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, transfer this into the Productivity 1000. However, the product contains errors and there's an error report. So we'll say OK. And down here in my error report, it basically says that uh, mail accounts aren't available on newer firmware. Please update or upgrade the CPU firmware or remove the mail accounts. So basically we've used instructions that the PLC um, needs um, different software to handle. So how we do how we remedy this is if we go to the Automation Direct website and under the software where we downloaded, which is right here, we'll go up to here to this firmware updates and we'll hit this uh, area which will bring us right over to our firmware binaries. Now when we're down here we'll see the P-Series CPU and Intelligent Modules and under the Productivity 1000 we will see the P1-540 firmware and the latest version right here. What we will do is just down hit that download link. So and remember where you save that link and then what we'll do is we'll go back to our software and we will um, we can close up this error message here. We can go to the CPU and then go down to check update or upgrade firmware. And when we're here, there is a four step process that we have to go through. First of all, we are connected and we are online. So that's the, the first one. If not, we can choose this. Then we have to browse for the firmware file that we just downloaded which is the latest one right here. So we'll hit select. So the next one is place the uh, run stop switch on the CPU in the stop mode. So if we actually look at our, our Productivity 1000 series here, we actually are communicating through our ethernet port located right here. So we'll take that run stop switch and we'll put it into uh, stop mode. When we do, what you'll notice is that now we have um, our upgrade button now visible that we can hit. So here's our um, module that we're going to update. So we're, it's already highlighted. It's the only one. So we're going from firmware version 1.2.5.36 to the version 1.2.7.37. So all the what's left is we hit the upgrade. And now my um, PLC is being upgraded. You can see my upgrade uh, process right here, and then my percentage. Now the firmware is usually PLC operating system code that's written into the read-only memory, and the BIOS, the basic input and output system of a PLC, um, is a good example of firmware. And it provides a low-level interface between the hardware and software. And the firmware in it for the productivity series of PLCs must be downloaded separately, um, as we can see here, uh, for it to work. So right now we're at about 89%. So it'll just be a, uh, a few more uh, minutes here. So my firmware upgrade succeeded, which is relocated right here. So we'll hit OK. Now we'll close this window. You'll see here now that my update status is a check mark. As soon as we hit close, it'll ask us to reboot the system. We'll say yes. Reboot system. So system rebooted successfully. We'll say OK. And now what we're doing is reconnecting back to our 
uh, CPU again. There we go. And now when we go to transfer our file, we can now transfer it. And without any error messages. You will also see that if we go back to CPU, check update firmware, and now we are in the firmware version 1.2.7.37. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on a link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can get the videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.